the history, the passion, the excitement. The Black Bear Wildcat rivalry is second to none in college hockey. As a player, when the schedule gets released, you know, the main games are the games that, that you look for first. You definitely mark them off on your schedule. The competitiveness uh, of the two programs uh, competing at a national level. You know, it's just, you get up for those games so much, it's, everyone's heated. Fans can look back, uh, you know, a long standing time of, of, of great teams kind of, you know, battling it out. I don't know what it is. You, you want to win every game, but for some reason in those games, you just want to win that much more. Over the years, uh, we've had uh, great contests with them. You know, up and down games and some crazy games, and I know even since since I've been here, we've had some some pretty wild ones against Maine. And I think that just adds to the kind of the mystique of the rivalry, and uh, it's something pretty special. To beat them, you know, that's really the driving factor. Is that you know you're not just playing for yourself, but you're playing for you know the tradition of UNH hockey, and, and probably the team that we take more pride in beating than anyone is Maine. The doorstep, a couple of incredible chances. The rivalry came to a head in 1999 when the two teams battled for the national championship with Maine prevailing in overtime 3-2. to two. Alfie Michaud uh, stole it from us, uh, stole us the, the, the national championship. He played absolutely fabulous. You were talking about two teams that had to travel all the way to the West Coast to play the national championship game. Um, you know, Mike Sousa going in at the end of the game and just miss uh, putting it in. and. Uh, John Sadowski, uh, we all jumped off the bench. We thought it went in. It was a backhand play off of a face-off. We thought the game was over. I have relatives who are from Maine. My mother's actually from Maine, so, you know, we all got together and watched that game. And ever since then, I, you know, I hated Maine. You know, they, they were the most fun games to watch, always, whether it be playoffs, regular season. But it was a tremendous game. We did everything but win the hockey game, and, um, you know, Michaud played great. And, uh, they won it in overtime, but it was uh, a great, it was one of the great college uh, national championship games. Following the 1999 season, the UNH Athletic Department developed White Out the Wit, a promotion that encouraged fans to wear white to the game at the Whittemore Center. It created one of the most hostile environments in all of college hockey. Every year here we you know, obviously White Out the Wit, and it's been We've had some wild games and you know able to win a lot of them. So, um, but the atmosphere is awesome. You know, the fans are here early and and uh, they're loud. When we get to the rink, there's already people lined up outside the doors. You know, for them to come out in support like that, not only does it make playing the game fun, just because the atmosphere is loud and you know everyone's excited, but it, it means a lot to us as a team that you know that many people have support for us, but you know understand this rivalry as well. The fans are, are pretty excited about the games and you know, they, they definitely show that and uh, it's something that's pretty awesome. Although the Wildcats' first Hockey East title came at the expense of the Black Bears in 2002 when the Cats earned a 3-1 victory, some of the most memorable games between the two national powerhouses took place just last season. But I just think if you look over, I mean, I know we can talk about two or three, but I, we've had some phenomenal games against Maine, whether it was last year's game or where we go up there last year and uh, Salingo scores. The first meeting between the two teams during the 2010-11 campaign took place at the Alphonse Arena on December 10th. With the Black Bears leading 3-1 in the third period, freshman Jeff Salingo slapped in a feed from Damon Kipp to cut the main lead in half. The score would remain the same until the final seconds of regulation. That's when Dalton Spielman sent the game to overtime off the rebound with 18 seconds to play, setting the stage for Salingo in the extra frame. Will retreat as Moses and Henry go to work. Henry comes in on goal. Centering pass, follow up, score! UNH wins it in overtime! That was probably one of the great games that was on, on TV and we come back and win it at the end. And uh, it's a hard place to win, uh, you know, at Alphonse and any time you can win there, uh, you know, it, it's special. New Hampshire and Maine would meet again in the first week of February, this time in Durham on back-to-back -back nights. On the first night, the Cats skated to a 6-3 win, but found themselves on the brink of yet another overtime game on the second night when Maine's Will O'Neill tied the score late in the third period. But it would be an unusual sequence of events in the final minute that ultimately decided the outcome. It was unbelievable. You couldn't hear yourself think in that third period, especially as the game wound down. 
you know, at least in our, our team last year, the guy you wanted with the puck on his stick at the end of the game was Paul Thompson. Plays ahead for Thompson. He gains the line for the Wildcat. Thompson, goal line left. Thompson tries to bank it in. He scores! Thompson from behind the net puts it in off the back of Sermon, and the Wildcats lead 5 to 4 with 15.3 seconds left. It's crazy, you know, to see how that's that uh, turn of events, and but that's something you kind of come to expect when we play in the end. We, we know it's going to be a uh, crazy night, and it's going to, you know, puck's going to bounce funny, and you know, it's going to come down to the wire every time. So that's that's why it's so fun to play them. Join the Cats for Operation Hat Trick Night on February 10th at the Whittemore Center. Operation Hat Trick is dedicated to fallen Navy SEALs and supports the recovery of wounded soldiers and veterans. The program will go national on January 25th and more than 26 universities are now participants in this special program. A portion of your purchases of Operation Hat Trick caps goes back to support the recovery of wounded soldiers and veterans through the VA Medical Center's General Post Fund. Visit UNHWildcats.com to purchase your OHT hats and tickets to OHT Night 2012.